I worked in Algonquin Park in um, 1991 and 1992. I led uh, trips of teenage girls um, for you know week-long canoe trips. So they're quite extreme and, and out there. And I will never forget um, coming onto Lake Opiango um, with the girls. And we also had a guide with us. And he turned to us and said, did you hear about the bear attack that happened here? He told us that, that there was two adults on this island. They'd both been killed, and their remains had been found a week after, and they'd, uh, the bear had been guarding their remains. So it was a predatory attack, and they were eaten. The, in the subsequent years, as I learned, I traveled outside, and I became an outward bound guide and things. And what I really wanted to do, know was why. Um, I wanted to figure out the details, and specifically what that couple had done wrong to get killed by the bear. And I think that's a very common reaction to have to some traumatic event is you try and figure out what did they do wrong because then if I can figure that out, I won't do that and therefore I'm safe. And the more I learned about bears, the more I realized it was an anomaly. And uh, you know, this was a rogue, a very, a rogue bear in an unusual attack um, in that it was predatory. And the, the couple actually didn't do anything wrong. And that was the most terrifying realization to come to, that we're not top predators, and <laughs> you still can get eaten.